get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on how to get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up... Street Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers in the back. Attention Dunwall citizens, Thaddeus Campbell, formerly High Overseer, is no longer a citizen of Dunwall. He now bears the Hey, you're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. That him? Yeah, he's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk at the distillery. much longer in there. That's what they get for taking free swigs from the still. That... Easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. He is a villain if I judge your looks aright. A villain I might have some work for. Somebody put plague in the brute tank. Half my men are weepers. Trapped three of them in a distillery. Rest are wandering in the street. Since it's so and I find myself short of able bodies, I may have a point of interest for you, see? Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dressed like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat.
Don't make me take that away from you. Yeah, someone's still around. What the fuck are you looking at? Blow off, Chopper. What a mess, huh? <coughs> Whole town's gone to trash. Want to look at some of the things I've found? Good prices, I swear.
something special? Hey, 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 wait a minute. What just occurred to me? How come it's always me? There is a strong drink made here. I tried it once. Distilled from river crosses, but I tasted it. What's this? Information from my missing guy. Let's have a listen. Blackjaw! It's me, Crowley. 
I'm making this in case I don't make it back. He was right. There is someone once you did. Wants to take over the distillery and the whole Bottle Street gang. And you'll never believe who it is, neither. At first, I didn't. That's why it taken me so long. I wanted to be sure, and... What's that? I... No! No! Ah! So Crowley's dead. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slackjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the golden cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the golden cat brother. See that? Slackjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. Maybe a little better. You think about that. Now maybe we can help each other out again. I could get rid of the Pendletons for you, quiet-like and without killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return. The Cat's having a big reopening tonight. Lot of money clients. Including an arts dealer named of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to a safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the City Watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my masked friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers. Just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise, I won't kill them and no one will ever see them again. Now, if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is. Something special? Impossible. Attention Dunwall citizens. A mandatory whale oil ration is now in effect. Non-compliance is a punishable offense. Come on, Stu. One more try. They wouldn't have such a strong door unless they kept some interesting things on its other side. I'm telling you, it won't budge. Not even... I think I bruised out my shoulder. Imagine what could be behind us. That'll get you through the pain. If you're so sure, then you shove it. So this is hard.
Attention, Dunwall City. That filthy mudlark. Better a tramp like you get elixir. We've been on half rations for a week. I ain't catching the plague. Hand it over. No, please, it's... No, I need it for my little one so he won't get sick. Thank you, thank you, sir. You saved me. How can I thank you? I have nothing. Wait, take this. It's the backdoor service key to Bunting's house, the art dealer on the main street. I used to work for him, you know, before the plague. He's let all his servants go, but he's still there. Probably hoping he'll be able to sell something from that safe of his. I don't know what he has left, but it's all I have to offer you. Please take it. Again? tonight indeed so
you want me to lose my job? Get lost. Excuse me. I'm just trying to... around, aren't you? They, they, they told me you were head chopped off and in the prison dead, like, like mother. That seems like a long time ago. But you're not dead. Now we can leave. I have a plan. I almost got away twice. There's a special door to come and go for special people, and I'll show you. And if anyone tries to stop us, you can fight them. It's this way. so we can leave. Yes, Prudence keeps it locked now, and she carries the only key. Why is she here anyway? Is she some niece of the Pendletons? No idea. They keep her hidden away.
comes. The Pendletons are here. You're supposed to be on duty. You're supposed to be on guard. You'll get dismissed for sure. I can't believe this. You said you weren't even drunk. Wake up! <laughs> like this for 20 minutes. Your footsteps sound a little loud. Have you gained a little weight on him? Oh, 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 that's good. I deserve that one. Shall I tell you why? The Pendletons are here, right? I'll start with them. I cheated them. Robbed them of thousands. Oh, you're ruthless. Don't hold back. I'll tell you everything. Pendleton's inheritance was worth hundreds of thousands at least. I told them it was junk. Oh! Ah! Retribution! Retribution! Oh, that was perfect. But it's all I can take for tonight. Call my servants. We're done. Ah! We're done, I said. Retribution! Now let me out! this? What do you want? The safe. Yes, of course. The combination is 696. Take anything you find. I think I felt my heart skip. I'll have you whipped, you bitch! Let's go. Let's get out of here. This place is on the river, so you must have come by boat. I'll wait for you near the boat. I remember the way. Don't worry about me.
sooner now that. Oh, sweet little bird. Come to grandma's won't hurt you. It's good to see you again, dear. But don't dally, or that young girl might fall in the river. Have you seen it? Handsome one. Dark eyes. I just want to do of the Abbey of the Everman. It is now a criminal event to offer this man aid or household. In this time of spiritual crisis, the overseers have initiated the Feast of Painted Cats until a new high overseer is chosen. Brought me the numbers. I've been after this combination for months. If you ever need steady work, you come see me. Slackjaw knows a good man when he sees one. It's only natural that you'd be curious about what I intend to do with the Pendletons. See, the Pendletons got these rock mines. Have hundreds of souls working down there half a mile deep below ground. So I'm gonna shave their heads and cut out their tongues and put them in one of their own sticking mines. Then they're gonna see life from a different angle. What the fuck are you looking at? Huh. Look out for the watch. They got no respect for laws.
Attention Dunwall citizens, a mandatory Are you both ready to go? Corvo, you must have worked wonders out there in the city tonight. I can't believe my old eyes. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh, grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown-up business at the Golden Cat. Oh, I should concentrate on piloting this boat. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the hound pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. Ask me for any gear you need. Corvo, the Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spymaster, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. Calista, I 
don't want to look around right now. Of course. We can give you the tour later, when you've rested. I was wondering, do you think my mother is really dead? I saw her get stabbed, but maybe she was still alive and got better. Is that possible? I'm sorry, Emily. But no. She did not survive. Oh. Did you go to her funeral? Was it fancy and beautiful? A train of carriages rode through the city. It was very beautiful. Flowers everywhere. And thousands of people wept because they will miss her. I wish I could have seen it. I'm sorry, dear. our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emily. You make this old military man proud. That's it then. Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Just climb aboard when you're ready. 